briefcase, briefs, and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In 1969, the U.S. Supreme Court made a landmark decision in the case of Orozco v. Texas, fundamentally changing the way police interrogations were conducted. At the center of the case was Reyes Arias Orozco, a man convicted of murder and sentenced to serve two, ten years in prison in Texas. During the investigation, police officers questioned Orozco about his involvement in the murder. However, they failed to inform him of his legal rights, including his right to remain silent, his right to have a lawyer present, and his right to have a lawyer appointed if he could not afford one. As a result, Orozco admitted to owning the gun used in the murder, which ultimately led to his conviction. Orozco argued that his Fifth Amendment right to remain silent had been violated by the improper police interrogation, rendering his conviction unlawful. The Supreme Court agreed citing the precedent set in Miranda v. Arizona, which interpreted the self-incrimination clause of the Fifth Amendment. The court emphasized that Miranda warnings are required whenever a person is in custody and deprived of their freedom of action in any significant way, regardless of the location of the interrogation. The Supreme Court reversed Orozco's conviction on the grounds that his Fifth Amendment rights had been violated, as his statements were admitted in court without adherence to the proper Miranda warnings. As a result, Orozco's prison sentence was put on hold and his case stood to be retried, pending proper procedures during the interrogation process. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lsd.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.